All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is game two between Artisane and Corvus for the B Team in house challenge that took place this last Monday. Monday, the uh, I don't know, make up a date. Third? Third? I don't know. Artisane bitching that is split failed. QQ. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just a bit. Corvus saying he had a bad split as well. Now, in case you don't remember, Artisan won the first match. This is a best of three series, so we'll see if Artisan will uh, go ahead and lay the smack down on Corvus, our current champion for the B Team Open. Or if Corvus is going to be able to pull it out and bring it up to a game three. This is uh, Daybreak, by the way. We do play on WCS Daybreak. Uh, the WCS map pool is our primary map pool at this time, although it is always something that we're looking to making modifications based upon the community's needs. Scout's coming out. Corvus is going to be able to find out that uh, Artisan is in the bottom left, which is, of course, where he's going to be in this two-player map. Sees that the gateway's finished and sees that there's a gas down. Meanwhile, bam! That probe was able to see all this, but did miss that second barracks he would have seen that that second gas was done no no he didn't see that gas and he did see the start of that so that's that's good for artisan knowing that's got two racks pressure going to be coming soon we'll be able to uh Add adjust on. accordingly Complete. lone zealot meanwhile on the top side got an scv Going back for more? You gonna go back for more, little guy? You're dead. So we're gonna see uh, Stalker and uh, see Stalker and Zealot push the front. See what's going on there. Stalker. Oh, almost gets murdered. Oh, yep, goes down. The Zealot's like, I'm out of here, dude. Fuck that. I don't get paid enough. He's chasing him down, though. He's chasing him down. He's got him all lined up. You're going to wait at the tower and die? Nope, you're going to run home. Meanwhile, Corvus decides to chill at the tower, takes a quick scan and realizes there's nothing here. I'm going to keep you from taking your second for a bit while longer. How do you like them apples? Because rally points and everything's set. He's expanding. But, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sneaky, sneaky Protoss. Killing units set to the rally. That was a smart move by Artisan. With a concussive shell, it's almost guaranteed that that, uh, that guy was going to die. Be able to get those other zealots in here, maybe get some damage in. And meanwhile, back at home, Force Field saving Artisan. I don't know how long he can hold this off, if he's going to be able to hold this off. Corvus does decide to pull back, though. But this harassment at home is getting intense. Getting intense. Units killed. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 workers killed. Artisan really taking it to Corvus here. Corvus decides it's time to go back home. This is too much. Too much for my production at home to take care of. Bam, bam! The army melted. Good micro. Good micro by Corvus there. Is he going to come down and uh, try to figure where those units were coming from? Is he going to come down? You going to come down, little buddy? You going you gonna to come check it out? <laughs> Mules are not OP. You can chrono boost out probes. That's OP. Chrono boost. Corvus is always good with his splits. Notice that. He does not like his units to be in one clump. Again, coming up here at the 15 minute mark, we'll do a quick pause, do some uh, some analyzing, albeit low level analyzing, and uh, see if there's anything that, uh, that really pops out at us. 
I really think earlier on, nice, nice snag. <laughs> Artist saying, with a little, little. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's great. Love it. I told I told Artisan to do that totally. Second good and established for Corvus. Meanwhile, second just getting going here for Artisan. About to warp in in a moment and sure gonna transfer those probes over. Coming up on our 15 minute mark. Take a look at the units. See where everybody stands. Oh, and I passed it, not paying attention. Do, 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 15 minute mark. Bam. We got 37 workers to 26 on for the toss. Three mules down. Not really much tech for uh, Corvus. Does he have any plus, does he have any pluses? Plus one attack. Stem, concussive, and combat shield are done though. We got double eBay's out, but we do not have the uh, armory to start second level upgrades. Artisan just getting his second up at the three minute mark. So Corvus's pressure, early pressure, really helped slow down uh, Artisan's income. Although I don't think Artisan has been probing out as hard as he could. <coughs> Pardon me. No research for that. Forge getting ready for plus two upgrade. Plus two, plus one is done for armor. No shield upgrades yet. We got five gateways and a robo. Getting ready to pump out some Colossus after already getting a couple of immortals. I think right now that army versus this army, I would take Corvus's army. But as soon as that Colossus pops. All right, let's see what happens. Just one probe. One probe in the gas. Chrono boosting probes. Tisk tisk. <laughs> That's so sneaky. Uh, I didn't even notice that earlier when we did our quick little break. Got a pylon over here as well. Nice little something something to fall back on. Observer. Zealot's going down. Hard to say knows the army's coming. Throwing down those Protoss map editors. I don't, it's not enough. It's not enough. Artisan loses everything. Oh my gosh, this does not look good. Get on that high ground. Get off! Oh. Right up into his main. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> uh, and it did too, see? Take it back just a second. Eh, screw it. So there's game two of Artisan versus Corvus, which means we're going to be going to a game three. Stay with me. I'll be right back in just a moment.